Welcome back. You're watching Outside. Chris Peru in the North Conway studio with our next guest, Vince Vaccaro of TriTech Events. And we're here to talk about a, uh, a very special event coming up. If you enjoy running and also raising money for a great cause, this is the event for you. Vince, thank you for joining us this morning. Chris, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. And the event that we're talking about is the Tunnel to Tower 5K. And it's going to take place right here in North Conway. First of all, tell us about the, five, the Tunnel to Tower uh, foundation. What is this cause all about? The uh, Tunnel to Tower Foundation started actually right after the bombings at 9-11. The uh, Siller family, they lost their brother at uh, during the uh, event. And what Stephen did was he was on the day off that particular day and actually drove, tried to drive into the city, found that the uh, the tunnels were all closed off at that point in time. So he put on all his gear, ran through the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel to Ground Zero, fought and helped save people that day, and tragically he lost his life. Mm. To honor what he did, they came up with this Tunnel to Towers 5K. They have them now throughout the United States. I'm just honored to be the race director for the New Hampshire event, mm. which takes place on July 8th. And the, the race, and all these races raise funds. How are these funds, how are these funds used? Sure, the uh, Siller Foundation is really good with their uh, money, how they distribute it. To date, they have set up over 200 smart homes mm. for uh, wounded warriors that uh, need to have this adapted type of home so that they can continue to have a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, they have paid off over a thousand mortgages to date for f firefighters that have lost their lives, the families of firefighters that have lost their lives in uh, active duty. Yeah. So, and, and this also, not only is this about the fallen firefighters and first responders from 9-11, but it carries over to honoring and thanking the existing firefighters and first responders of today, which is very important. Absolutely, and I know this, this cause is really uh, hits home for you. You actually have like a close personal friend, I believe, who has yes. been doing this race from the beginning. Exactly. Uh, one of my longest, dearest friends um, was at 9-11, oh, excuse me. And he was very fortunate in the sense that he made it through there, uh, through 9-11, um, but it wasn't as uh, good for the rest of his friends and uh, brothers in the, uh, his fire station. He was squad 18, and that particular day they lost uh, seven people mm. in addition to the apparatuses that they use down there. So he was very fortunate. We're all very thankful uh, that he made it. Yep. And to honor him, uh, I've gone down to New York. I've traveled to New York uh, almost every year to do this event with him. Whether you walk it or run it, it doesn't matter. It's all about participating and knowing that the uh, anything that you donate to the cause will be used in a very, uh, very good, uh, reputable manner. Right, and we were talking about this before the interview. You said your friend, there were like seven times that day where he could have died or it was, should have died. It was documented he should have died three times that day. Okay, yes. wow. Yeah, just, it's everything from running into a, or um, running away from the buildings. Uh, the one person he was with actually went underneath a vehicle for shelter. Mm. He was in front of the vehicle and fallen debris crushed the vehicle and you know the person that was underneath it and he was just feet away from it. Wow. What so unbelievable stories of like heroism and just uh, amazing you know perseverance and we really want to recognize you know everybody who gave some people gave their all that day mm -hmm. and uh, those who you know who survived that day and, and gave so much they have a, a lot to, uh, to, you know, to, to look back on. And we're going to remember those people and raise money for everybody affected by it by doing this race. Tell us a little bit about the, the event now. How do people actually take part in the 5K? So we'll be, uh, that Saturday, July 8th, we'll be at Schuler Park. That's our 
start and finish for this event. Uh, eight o'clock we start registration if, or you have the ability to go online. Uh, the easiest thing to do is to go to tritechevents.com and you'll see the, uh, the Tunnel to Towers 5K uh, Health Walk Run. You can click on that link and it'll take you to the registration page. Also, uh, if you're able to, you can uh, definitely feel free to donate some extra money if you're not able to come for the event itself. The donation is going to be great. We'll have t-shirts for everybody that's nice. there. And the 5K takes place right in North Conway, right? So describe the running route. So the running route, bit, we start at Schuler Park. We'll do a lap around Schuler Park. We'll head out, head up uh, towards the ski area, Cranmore Ski Area, come looping around, take you uh, around the park and then into the park. The finish is something, it, the, the event is the Tunnel to Towers. So North Conway doesn't exactly have a lot of towers or tunnels, <laughs> so we create our own. So what we'll do is we actually have a tent structure that instead of using the tent, we have the American flag draped over it. Wow. So your finish is actually finishing under, you go th under the American flag to come out to to the finish. This event is all about participation. It's, uh, it's not a timed event. It's really just to get everybody out there to, again, remember and then also honor right. our firefighters and first responders. And you can run, you can also walk. So if you don't consider yourself a, a 5K runner, you can still participate. And uh, it's, just about, it's just about doing. So how do people do? Should they register in advance online and, and start to raise funds? Yes, please register online. Uh, like I said, that link would be the uh, tritechevents.com link, and you'll see the Tunnel to Tower event there. And if you're not able to get online, that's okay. We'll start registration at eight o'clock on Saturday morning. All right, and we're gonna talk about this banner in, in just a second, but before we get to that, I wanted just to uh, talk about Tritech events and the other races you have coming up. Um, one of the things, when people have lots of skills, that's what you donate to great causes like this. Your skill is race direction. You are you know, deeply involved in the race scene here in New Hampshire and beyond. Tell us about uh, a couple of uh, big events coming up that you have. So uh, the next couple of races, Chris, that we have, we've got uh, the, the next triathlon. I, I put on triathlons, 5Ks, and we also help out with half marathons. And the next event is over in Wolfboro. It's uh, set up on July 29th. That's a sprint and Olympic distance triathlon, duathlon, as well as aquabike. So if you're interested in participating, again, you'll see it on the TriTech website, but you can uh, register for the uh, Wolfboro. It's called the Wolf Triathlon, uh, short distance, long distance. And then this year we have coming up at the end of the season, which is scheduled for August 26th, is the Live Free and Try that's right in Freedom, New Hampshire. Mm. Uh, and that race there has been honored with the New Hampshire State Tra Championship race for USA Triathlon. Wow. So if you're thinking about going to the nationals, your step, your first step is to actually visit us and, and, and make it through the uh, New Hampshire section as you go on past that. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun and a great venue for it down in Freedom, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. uh, Camp Calumet. Beautiful, beautiful terrain. If you're, if you're going to suffer, at least you should do it in some, some, a beautiful area. <sighs> no suffering. We, we, call, <laughs> we call that course New England flat. It yeah. just has a few rollers. Yeah, actually, you're right. Down there, it is kind of flat. It's kind of like um, the North Conway Half Marathon. People come up to the White Mountains, and it's probably one of the flattest half marathons you could possibly do. That's correct. Um, so let's get back to the uh, Tunnel to Tower 5K. You brought us some, uh, this beautiful shield. Um, it, again, these are races that happen across, around the country. Mm -hmm. The one in New Hampshire is happening right here in North Conway. Um, w tell me the, about this banner you have and what this represents and what you'll be doing with it. So the Siller Foundation, the, their main event is at the end of September in New York City. That event has over 30,000 people at the event. And what we do locally is we take this banner and we invite all the participants, everybody that's helped us out with the event, raising funds to 
sign the event, sign this banner. And then myself and a few other people from New Hampshire will go down and represent New Hampshire at the national event. So there'll be an entire section of these banners and your name will be there at the, uh, the big event. So That's great. please start us we off. We have Chris. to, oh, I'm so honored. This is incredible. Chris will have that first name of the 2023. There's, there's a lot of pressure. And is it okay if I put it on the table right here? Yes, go right ahead. I want my, my penmanship is bad enough as it is. I don't want to make it any worse. So please feel free to come on down and you'll sign the banner and we'll have you represented in, in New Hampshire. There it is. And this will be down in New York City. In New right? York. Yes, it will. Thank you very much, Chris. Oh, thank you so much. And good luck with the race. And you're watching outside.